and the unthinkable has happened. What seemed like a foolish dream a few matches ago has finally happened. After eight matches this season, RCB had just 0.2% chances of qualifying to the last four. And yet, here we are. The qualification seems an even bigger victory than probably what it is. Hi, this is Cheyenne and you're welcome to yet another episode of the Aristo Locker Room. Well, Saturday was a red letter day for RCB. We had to overcome two obstacles. We got Chennai in our sights, but then an even bigger obstacle was rain. And finally, the rain gods relented and we had a full match. Well, losing the toss seemed like an important moment in the story, but RCB did not let it affect them. Virat Kohli and Fabdu Plessy yet again laid a very strong platform from where Cam Green and Rajat Patidar could go ballistic. Virat Kohli, 47 of just 29 balls, another impeccable innings. Fadhu Plessy getting another half century. Cam Green this season has proved his weight in gold and Rajat Patidar, oh my god, what a great form has he been in this season. Well, at one point it looked like RCB will probably finish around 200 mark, but we got to 218 owing to contributions from Dinesh Karthik, from Maxwell and of course Cam Green and Rajat Patidar. Well, when Chennai started their innings, they lost Captain Rituraj Gaikwad in the very first over of the innings, which proved a big loss for them. The match kept having its twists and turns throughout the course of the 20 overs, though an RCB win was never in question. The question was, will we be able to stop Chennai within 200 runs? And at one point, well, that didn't seem likely. And just when it seemed RCB is on top, the old combination of Dhoni and Jadeja got together once again. And they brought down the equation to 11 needed of 5 balls. Now this is where the story takes another turn. Yash Dayal is bowling the final over. Dhoni has just hit the biggest six of the men's T20 league. The ball has travelled outside the stadium. They now need 11 from 5. And now because the ball has travelled outside the stadium, the ball has to be changed. Yash Dayal gets a drier ball in his hand. Suddenly he gets control over slower deliveries. And Yash Dayal has a fairy tale ending. From being unable to defend about 28-29 runs in last season of the men's T20 league, this time, he defends 17 against the likes of Dhoni and Jadeja and RCB gets a fairy tale ending. What an incredible match that was, a match that will be remembered for some time to come. Well, RCB take on Rajasthan in the first eliminator. Now, Rajasthan is coming off on the back of four consecutive losses and one match rained out, while RCB is coming on the back of six consecutive wins. After the first eight matches of the season, Rajasthan had won seven, while RCB had lost seven. And now we take on each other for a place in that final eliminator. A few matches back, we had asked the question, is RCP peaking too late or just at the right time? And guess what? I think we found our answer. This is Shine and Aristo Locker Room. We will be back with yet another episode. Thank you so much for watching.